She looked at me with a tear in her eye and she said, Watch out where the huskies go and don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the huskies go and don't you eat that yellow snow. about that time people a fur trapper who was strictly from commercial had the unmitigated audacity to jump up from behind my igloo and it started in the whipping on my favorite baby seal with a lead-filled snowshoe, I said, with a lead-filled lead lead snowshoe, peek-a-boo, peek with a lead-filled lead 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 snowshoe, and he said, peek-a-boo, peek he jumped up from behind my ear glue, and he said, peek-a-boo, with a lead-filled snowshoe. Right on, right up by the head of my favorite baby seal. He said, peek-a-boo, with a lead-filled snowshoe, and hit him in the nose, and hit him in the fence. You know, that got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. as an Eskimo boy can be. Almost had a seizure over that fur trapper. I started going, huh, huh, huh. You don't know what that means. Then I went, huh. Anyway. It is pretty weird, isn't it, if you stopped and think about it. How about this way? Wait a minute. Here's, here's what you should be doing. Evil as an Eskimo boy can be. So I reached down with my patented Nanook of the North whale blubber mitten. And I scooped down and I reached down and I bent down and I gathered up a generous mitten full of the deadly yellow snow. The deadly yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. And then, in a fit of anger, I pounced. And I pounced again. I pounced partially. I jumped up and down on the chest of them. I 
injured the fur trapper. And then I took my mitten with the deadly yellow snow crystals in it and I proceeded to rub it all into his speedy little eyes with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to Sydney but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. Here it is. Hey! Really cheap, isn't it? God damn, that's cheap. That's so cheap, we're gonna do it again. That's enough. Okay. Well, by that time, the extract of the northern dog had induced in the fur trapper a terrible case of temporary snow blindness. And he turned around and he said, I can't see. I can't see temporarily. I can't see. I can't see temporarily. Oh, what if there's something good on TV? Temporarily. And I can't see. I can't see temporarily. He took a dog. A dog do snow cone and stuffed it in my right eye. And it took a dog do snow cone and stuffed it in my other eye. And the husky wee wee, I mean the doggy wee wee, has blinded me temporarily. And oh Lord, I can't see. Well, here we have a deflected fur trapper, folks. Wandering around in the middle of the desolate northern wasteland. Can't tell where he's going. And he wants to get home in time to watch something good on TV. Well, he doesn't know it, but he's got a lot of time. But he, maybe there's something that he likes. He has to fix up his eyes before he can watch the television, so scratches underneath of his parka, tries to figure out what he's gonna do, and remembers an ancient Eskimo legend where it is, it is written on the little things that they write it on, whatever they are that if anything bad ever happens to your eyes as the result of physical combat with anybody named Nanook, and if, therefore, he rubs some dog dew crystals in your eye and you have problems, it actually says this, folks, that the only way that you can fix it up is you gotta go trudging across the tundra, mile after mile, all the way down to the Columbia River Delta. It's really funky down there, I'm telling you. And he's got to go down to find the parish of St. Alfonso. St. Alfonso is the patron saint of the smelt fishermen of Portuguese extraction. And he's got to bust into the pantry at St. Alfonso's parish, and he's got to locate a mysterious elixir disguised as a box of margarine. And his instructions are, to rub it on his deflicted eyes until some sort of miraculous cure will take place. In the next episode, we follow the fur trapper as he trudges across the tundra direct to St. Alfonso's parish. And it goes something like this. Hop. Hopla. <laughs> and Lua de la Trine. I saw a handsome Paris lady make her entrance like a queen Why she was totally chenille and her old man was a marine As she abused the sausage patty she said why don't you treat me mean Hurt me Hurt me 